A rare snow leopard spotted in the Himalayas. कितने नजदीक से An overweight wombat wants to have a little fun with the zookeeper. <laughs> I know! He's determined! A gator showing off its death roll. Oh, so you the ground? The blue tongued skink is from Australia, and their tongue is used to deter enemies as well as lure and catch prey. Good stuff, huh? Egg on your face. Hi, handsome. what you should be watching. Pingy? Little berry? Good news for you. This is the inland taipan which is an extremely venomous snake. Although they are pretty shy. Man, oh man, look how enormous this reticulated python is. Unbelievable. Oh, man. She's big. It looks different than when you're in the cage. There we go. There she there is. Go. Look at that head. About as big as my hand. Hey, Becky. The power. Yeah, she's not very old at all. Oh, she's got a lot of years left. See, she, no, 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 she's got, no, she's no, got no. the girth. It's like as soon as you grab her, she wants to move. She's like spring steel when you feel her. Look at that. Jeez. No. A baby platypus being affectionate with its owner. That should keep him really still, which is good. She's good. Come on. A foolish tiger thinks it can take on an elephant. 
My goodness. The mouse lemur is a primate from Madagascar and they are the smallest of all primates. A wolf very closely chasing a car. Come on, bud. Let's go. Let's go, bud. <laughs> This wolf turns the table on a nosy dog. This is the tomato frog from Madagascar. A loud mouthed Tasmanian devil having a hissy fit. What do they eat? They eat, um, uh, they don't hunt whatsoever. So anything dead, um, purely because it doesn't run too fast. These guys can't run fast. <laughs> They will shut up in the sea. This is the very dangerous spitting cobra which can literally permanently blind you if they spit in your eye. Got a crazy spinner, look at this crazy. Ah. This is the beautiful but huge Napoleon fish, and they are found in the Indo Pacific and are endangered. <laughs>
It's one thing to see it on TV or YouTube, but what would it be like in real life to be chased by an elephant? Yeah, everything has been burned. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's not funny. The pool is in must. Just look at the way he's dripping. Can you see the urine dripping? He's, he's a must at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he really wanted to come at us, he would go faster. Yeah. Our elephants are very relaxed, but uh, this male is in full. See that? Are you kneeling like that? See that? That's so quick. Fast! Yeah. Okay. If you want me to do that, just give me some time. But, are you sure that you want to do that? Oh my god. A man having some time with his adorable lemur. He's, he's a ringtail lemur, which comes from Madagascar. Um, it's the only place they come from. They're a pack animal. And they eat bugs and fruits and vegetables. I picked him up from a buddy of mine. He takes care of uh, endangered animals. Not endangered, but animals that get hurt or animals that are strayed. And he had too many of them, and he asked me if I'd like to take them as a pet. A red roughed lemur and a black and white lemur having some lunch time. You want me to just leave that one there? Since you guys are so into it. <laughs> the amazing giant octopus up close and personal with a diver. Check out this octopus who escapes from a boat.
A turtle is saved from a hungry tiger shark. This monkey seems to thank a man for being kind and giving some water. This rhino wants to let this pickup know that it is not welcome in these here parts. <laughs> <laughs> a kangaroo shows a boxer that it is not to be played with. A kookaburra has a little something to say. Thank cutie, how are you? You want to come? Do you want to come in today? Do you want to come in? Come on, you come. Do you want to sit on my lap? Hey. Hi. <laughs> you like a little stray cat. Yeah. You're cute. All right. This is the venomous puff adder from Africa. That's an interesting. That's how they get their names, of course. Puff adder. These guys can inflate their bodies to an enormous side and huff and puff. When they really get upset, they puff his body up and they let it all out. That one big, powerful lung that's got it. This is it. Just get his head in there. Maybe he'll actually walk in if he doesn't spook on my own. A snake like this can bite right through a bag like this, of course, with no effort at all. So what I gotta do is just find out where the head is. Back a, bit. a skunk versus a raccoon. Try to get him to no, because. No, because the, the thing about that is that it's got the screen in the way. No wonder I didn't smell, and look, he's been torn up. Possibly with the skunk. Oh my God, the skunk's gonna, oh. Skunk is not happy. Skunk's backing away. Skunk is pissed. Yeah, but scared. Yes. Because it's a small skunk, and that's a big, nasty looking raccoon. It survived a hawk swoops in to get some baby geese. Fortunately, as we all know, geese do not play. Two amazing men save a frantic deer out of a sinkhole in Florida. I got you, I think. Oh, oh, oh. 
I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Hit by the neck. Hey, hold up, I'm not coming. Yeah, I got it with him. Oh. Come here, girl. <laughs> hey, grab her. This dog has been swimming for a long time and likely didn't have much time left before it was rescued. A dog is in big trouble in ice water. Check out this daring rescue. Oh, 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 No, Athena, come, oh, Athena, come, oh, Athena, come, out. Oh. Have you ever seen an ostrich derby? And they're off. Cats don't zig from between horses for the lead. Where's Dorinda on the inside? And Bird here, erratic on the outside. Cats don't zig is actually zagging on the outside, but cats don't zig. Dorinda was second, although there might be an inquiry. And unfortunately, we have uh, drivers out of the bikes. We have bikes off the ostriches, and we have ostriches heading for the trailer in the fifth annual Ostrich Derby tonight here at the Big M. Hi, uh, not ready. Ready? Yeah. The giant weta is a huge cricket like insect found in New Zealand. Very creepy looking. So they look pretty scary. Do they use their spikes for anything? They're under threat. They'll raise these legs up over their head, and that means that nothing can attack them unless they want to get a mouthful of spikes. Wherever she goes, she'll always check where she's going first with the antennae. They don't have very good um, sense of sight, so they rely on touch. So if I put my hand here, she'll feel where she's going first, and then she'll go there. Because um, adult males usually have a harem of females that they guard um, so that other males can't mate with them and they do that going. He's got very large mandibles and he will draw blood if you get in the way. Um, but generally um, when males fight, uh, the fight doesn't go to an extreme. The most cuddly hyena you've ever seen. The ocelot is a cool wild cat, mostly found in Mexico and South America.
I would have to drink a whole lot of Patron to even think about kissing a Black Panther. <laughs> oh, I bet. All right, come on. Let's go. An interesting encounter between a woman and a koala and a bird? Oh, he's got that little tag in his ear. Oh. Oh, he's going up there. Oh, oh. Are you coming to me? Oh, the bird is attacking us. This is the huge but sweet Flemish giant rabbit. No way could I ever, ever be this close to two grizzly bears. This is the creepy result of a hatching of huntsman spiders. Unbelievable. 50, 60, but then she says, look in the other corner. And they're alive. <laughs> I think the baby huntsman, I'm not sure. Some pit bulls being protective of kids. The manta ray can grow to be over 20 feet wide and weigh up to three tons. They also are known to jump out of the water from time to time. There's two spots on his belly. There he goes, having fun. Oh. oh. So blue just breached. Breaching is something they sometimes do for exercise or mating behavior. It's a really beautiful, amazing, natural behavior that we get to see sometimes. And blue's showing off for us today. A manta ray in a collision with the largest fish in the world, the whale shark. A dog is intent on getting away from a dog catcher.
Snap. Come back. Now get in. Get Connor! Connor, get in the cart! Reezy, get in the cart! Reezy! Get in the cart! Get get in the cart! Get in the cart! Get in the cart! Get in the cart. Here it is! Here it is! Oh shit! A sloth gets a potentially life-saving ride off the pavement of a highway onto a tree. A dangerous elk is saved from impending doom. Come on, yeah. come on, watch out. Come on, bud. He's good, he's good, he's going, he's going, he's going, run. There you go, buddy. One of this duck's ducklings is stuck in a sewer drain. Here is the rescue. Duckley! Go! She's coming towards you! Get her, Daddy! Come on! Come on! We got her! Is there another one? That's the one that's the... I don't know. Aww! The happy family! The whole family's back together now. Some hyenas try to make a meal out of a huge rhinoceros. Bye-bye. <laughs> a screech owl is rescued from being tangled in a fishing line. Okay, that was part one. Now he is free of the line. And now I'm gonna try to calm down. Calm down. I'm gonna save you. I hope his wing isn't broken. He looks pretty young, pretty small. Not that I'm an owl. No, 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 no. Calm down. This otter jumps on a boat just in the nick of time to get away from some hungry orcas. Uh -huh. A trooper suffers some pain from rescuing a bald eagle, but persisted in saving the amazing bird. The trooper may have a well-earned scar from all of it, but has no regret. And he received several puncture wounds in his arm. You know, those talons, I'm sure, are pretty sharp. But he continued on, repositioned, bear hugged the eagle, was able to get him in the car. This eagle landed. Check out this encounter with wild guinea pigs. A brush-tailed possum in the house, and the family thinks it needs to get the heck out. I can see you get it out. Probably hungry. I don't know. Who's eating the, eating the apple? Is that under the bed? No. Oh, I can see it in the mirror. <laughs> Come on. Come on, there you go. Here's your bag. Oh. 
There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Check out this encounter between this man and some emus. Storm brewing in the background. Is that him making the noises? <laughs> A man saves a deer from a hungry anaconda. A deer in Canada is rescued from a frozen lake. Here's another adorable monkey who is in need of some water. You feeling thirsty, monkey? Yes, I'm feeling thirsty. I like to drink water. Oh my god. Don't be like oh. A beached dolphin is saved and put back in the water. A bobcat relaxing and covering his eyes, looking adorable as ever. You're so silly. You're silly. I'm gonna go out and water. You can come out if you want. Well, here we are. Got the coronary virus uh, scare, walking through River Legacy Park, and then Got a little kitten here. Hey, kitty! What's up, my kitty? You gonna you gonna get on down with that napkin there? Well, you gonna just sit there or what? Hey. Yeah, that's a nice little kitty. Wow. Hey, kitty. A bobcat and a man exchange pleasantries. Watch this amazing encounter with the sailfish that's in quite a hurry and is also quite annoyed. Alligator gar is the largest of the gar family 
and they're pretty creepy looking. Coral snakes are an extremely venomous snake, but actually they rarely bite and are pretty docile relative to their venomous ability. I absolutely love these animals and I, and I want to teach everyone else to have the respect for them that they deserve that they're not mindless killers that are just after us to bite us and hurt us. As I was saying earlier, he's trying to hide out again. These snakes are extremely reclusive and, and like to stay out of sight, out of mind, unless they're out hunting. Uh, other snakes is what they primarily prey on. Hey guys, this right here is the Texas Coral Snake, one of my favorite snakes in the world, mainly because their scientific name is Microsphobius Fulvius Tenere. And Microsphobius is a genus inside the family Elapidae which contains cobras, crates, and mambas. There has not been a death recorded in well over 20 years because of anti-venom. Anti-venom is extremely effective with these guys and they're just, they're typically docile snakes. You can see I'm, I'm able to get this close to him and he doesn't do anything. So these guys aren't that big of a deal but you still need to know the difference between these and the non-venomous species that mimic this guy. They mimic them to say, hey, you know, maybe I can get by him, maybe other animals will think that I'm venomous. A huge anaconda relaxing in the Amazon. Look at this beautiful rainbow reticulated python. It's just in absolutely incredible. Check it out. I mean, it's just, man. Anyway, is that cool? I'm pretty sure you guys can see that pretty well. But then again, maybe it's just me. So keep going, keep the rainbow going, America. A man gets very close to some wild orcas. A dog has a close encounter with a huge kangaroo. Rusty, no. No. That is one big fella, Rusty. No, Rusty. Wow, oh, he's big. Sweet koala and his baby crossing the street on a late night. Come on. That's the way. That's the way. Go, girl. And Echidna investigates a man's feet a bit before going on his merry way. Have you ever seen such a thing, guys? It's gonna make it. 
a swimming echidna. That is pretty rare. A viral video of a kangaroo trying to drown a dog. A marlin comes dangerously close to some divers. This brush tail possum is actually gold looking. I mean, what an incredible looking animal. Now this is not a very advantageous for her because in the wild she can't camouflage herself from predators. So you don't actually see these guys around at all. In fact, they're extremely rare. In some parts of Australia though, like down in Bruni Island near Tasmania, thumping across your roof at night and living in your house, maybe in your roof or your wall cavities and eating your roses, these are extremely amazing creatures. And you know what? Honey is one of the most amazing brush tails we've ever worked. This is the ultra rare Sumatran rhino, which is also the smallest rhino species. This have successfully reproduced in the last 15 years. A female will have their own home range. A male will have their own home range. If, for example, in that area, do not have a, a male, all the females will go unbred. And the same thing with if that area do not have... So, good morning. This is something I wanted to show you. This is a newly hatched puff adder <coughs> at Kalimba Reptile Farm. It's not 15 centimeters long, you can see next to my car keys. You can hear it hissing and puffing. You see its defensive stand. Yeah. It has less venom than an adult, but the venom is the same type of venom and it has the same potency. So I think with this video we're making a very good case for the fact that it's necessary to wear proper shoes when you're out in the bush, or even working in the field. Let's just say this man really, really likes roaches. That concerns us. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> and you know where there's one, there well, could be a heck of a lot more, Tony. Yeah. Things only get worse. But these are these are bugs, Tony. Yeah. With that, Tony turns the light out. The Food Patrol's tour is over. While a reinspection shows three demerits, Tony says he plans to bring pest control back. Two big old pigs get into a scuffle.
Swans and their babies holding up traffic in Denmark. Crow makes it well known that it is thirsty. A very dangerous and scared timber wolf in Minnesota gets freed from a trap. <sighs> Look, it's not every day that you see a leopard with its head stuck in a pot. Some amazing people save this poor cat. A very powerful eagle is saved from a lake and even had ice that had bonded on its wings manually melted by these amazing people. Thanks for watching. I am Curtis. See you next time.